I remember three years ago, I was buying Gymshark clothing and just hoping to get a repost. I had my roommate taking pictures of me in our dorm, and my main goal was to get a feature from the Gymshark Instagram page. I would watch you cook videos and envision being able to help others on that kind of scale. Three years later, I consider the Gymshark team my family. We've worked on countless campaigns together, and Steve's flying in this afternoon to spend a couple of days with us in Texas. I attribute the things I've achieved to hard work, my amazing supporters, and my vision. I was very, very skinny. I was, I'm talking 5'10", 5'11", right at about 110 pounds. So I was very small. Um, and I've been really skinny all my life, you know, quote unquote ectomorph. And I wanted to get bigger, get stronger. And so I started training for strength, for size, and I fell in love with it. So for me, I grew up in a large family. So physical fitness has always been, I've, I've been doing workouts since I was a kid. I'm one of seven. My dad was a high school basketball coach and then an athletic director. So our kind of family activities were going out to the track, doing things with my older brothers and sisters in the, in the gym, in the basketball gym. But the minute I touched weights, when I was about 12 or 13, electricity. It was, it was like love at, at, at first touch. You know, moving into college, my first year of college is when it was almost a new start. You know, I didn't have the same friends, it was a new environment, and I was still shy. It was so hard to break into it, and so I looked up to a lot of people online. I looked up to uh, people like Greg Plitt, yourself, Steve Cook. Um, I looked up to these people that I saw, and I was looking to for advice and for, you know, information. and. I just grew the confidence to order myself a camera. I never thought that I would be able to do what I'm doing now or reach the people that I am now, but I just wanted to document my own progress um, and share my journey and start tracking it. I didn't have an incredible physique. I was 19, skinny. I was you know, not much muscle mass. I wasn't shredded, but I thought that it would be good to share the experience. The moment I kind of realized that this is what I, I wanted to do or what I was looking at doing is I was 24 years old. I had just gotten divorced and I was done playing college football. I was a four year starter in college and football was kind of what I really identified with. Like that's who I was. I was a football player. I thought I was gonna play in the NFL. Injury and just not being at the end of the day qualified enough to play in the NFL led me to kind of a realization of I didn't know what I wanted to be. And this also came about because I was married at 21 years old. We got divorced at 24. And I was left kind of looking in the mirror like, you know, who are you? You're not a football player anymore. What do you have to offer? And it was, you know, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence at that time. You know, was, there was things that went on in my marriage that, that um, you know, I, I felt like I, I wasn't where I wanted to be in life. And I was probably pretty hard on myself, but it was that, that kind of moment that I, I looked at something and I picked a bodybuilding show. And I thought, I'm gonna give this everything that I have because I've seen the kind of results that I can get in the gym and I know if I can go into the gym and work my butt off for this goal, I could then take that kind of that same mentality and apply it to any other area of life. did a spur of the moment meetup. We're gonna find out how many Gymshark fans. Hey, how many Gymshark fans we have here? Woo! 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 Woo!
man. Yeah, what's up, man? How are you? I'm meeting you. Good to meet you too. I like the oh, intro. Kind of good, like you, man. Like, and everyone said, you know, Steve, there's there's no money in this. There's no money in fitness modeling. And I was thinking, you know, the whole time, I don't want to be a fitness model. This is my foot in the door to be a, really a fitness spokesperson or, or somebody that can change people's lives. And I wanted to do it on the ground level. I wanted to meet people at expos. I wanted to talk to them about my story. I had so many people tell me, you know, I've, 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 I've gone through what you did. How did you get over that breakup? Or how did you get over that, that divorce? And at the end of the day, like everyone goes through, we're all, we all share the common thread of going through struggles in life. And it's how you deal with those struggles. It's how you deal with, with getting over those stumbling blocks. And I think that for me, it was holding on to that vision of what I wanted down the road. I know there, there's always gonna be hiccups. There's always gonna be things that, that are setbacks. But it's just more of an opportunity to pick yourself up and learn from it, and then ultimately be a better version of yourself. I think that it's very important to note that you're not always gonna have everyone's support. Um, there's gonna be people that tell you it's a dumb idea. There's going to be people, people that say you're not going to be able to make a living doing what you want to do or that there's no money in that or uh, just bringing you down. And I think it's so crucial, it's imperative to surround yourself with people that share the same vision that you do. And thankfully for me, having the support of my friends, my family, um, Gymshark, Gymshark believed in me before any other company. They believed in me when I was starting out with my channel, staying consistent and uploading. And I can honestly say that I don't think I would be here without the help of Jim Sharp. So I will, I will say one thing, you know, we meet hundreds of people, yearly thousands of people, and you know, it makes, it makes up for it when at the end of the day, like, there's one, one kid that comes up, just one kid comes up and says, you know, I've lost, you know, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, or I've changed my life. That's what actually makes it more worth. No, no magazine cover is worth that. No amount of followers are worth that. At the end of the day, it's that, that person who's changed their life. And I think that's what you know we try to embody. And I think that's why, obviously, these guys had that line today. Just simply amazing. Happy family. Happy Fit Fam. Woo! Hey, it's time to go eat. I had heard of Gymshark, but it wasn't until I saw Christian and Mark and really their online social presence grow with Gymshark that I realized it was a force to be reckoned with. And right off the bat, the clothing didn't jump out at me, but what it was is kind of the, the, the vision. And when I spoke with the owners about when, when we were talking about you know, where they wanted to go with the brand, and when they told me where they wanted to go, I knew it was something I wanted to be on board with. And sitting here today in this shirt, this is exactly what I had hoped for. And just the tenacity in which they go after things. They set a goal, and I know they're gonna do it. They're young, they're visionary, and they're gonna work like hell. And that's kind of what I wanna surround myself with. People that aren't afraid to work, that aren't afraid to put in, put in the long hours. Because at the end of the day, like when I'm on traveling or at an expo, my life is, is not normal, and I don't want it to be, but it's, it's the price you pay to create something that's gonna be long lasting. The price you pay to, to be different in this world. And I think that while we are all different, Everyone shares a little bit of that, I'm an individual. I want to be me and I want others to recognize that who I am is significant. And I think everybody has that in them. Everyone has that, that light, you could say, in them that makes them unique and whatever it is. And the guys from Gymshark recognize that not only in me, but in their other athletes. And they really do a good job of promoting and sharing and pushing not only their visions, but helping other athletes create their vision, their brands, their their market. And that's for me it was it was so it was like it was like looking into a mirror of what I wanted my brand to be. Really, it's a feel, it's a movement that at the end of the day, you go to an expo and the Gymshark line, at the end of the day, is, it sets itself apart by the energy that they're, that they're kind of giving to the crowd. And, and people at expos feed off of it. And there's a reason why you go there and it's so busy. And people always ask me, you know, what is it with Gymshark? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's clothing, but is it really that much better? And while I say, you know, the clothing is great, what sets it apart is, is really that, 
the intangible, intangible feeling of, of they, they know what they want and there's nothing that's gonna stop us at Gymshark from creating the lives we all want to live. And it, you know, it even gives me just chills sitting here talking about it. We're in a, a hot, humid warehouse and I have chills talking about that vision.